presented by Hyatt Regency Guam. Cafe Kitchen now open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we're back. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're looking for a place to, to eat, whether it be a lunch break or you're craving hot dogs, the place to go is in Jigo called Papa's Hot Dog Stand. Here's more. Tasty hot dogs served up with a smile. That's what you'll get at Papa's Hot Dog Stand in Jigo. That's right, for the past five years, owner Tony Bloss has been filling bellies with palate-pleasing dogs. It was something that helped pass the time. When I retired uh, from Guam Memorial, I couldn't stand staying at home. So he bought a hot dog stand, and he admits he didn't know the first thing about operating and running a business, and he knew he needed to do his research. So I grabbed uh, a notepad and pencil, jumped on my Harley and I went around the island looking at all the different hot dog stands, taking notes, you know. The number one hot dog stand, as I guess you would know, is the one in Aganya. So I, you know, I stood beside her and I took notes. Whenever she opens the pan, I'll look in, oh, I see onions, I see, you know, black pepper, whatever. So I started writing it down, taking notes. And from Haganya, he traveled down to Maritza. Which we always start with the Harleys. And, uh, you know, I took notes. Anywhere I can see a hot dog stand out there. But I didn't know the first thing about business. Plus says what has kept him going this long it's the love and support of his wife, Elizabeth. She's the one that knows business, you know. So, uh, yeah, we took it by trial and error. This is where I'm at now. At Papa's Hot Dog Stand, you can choose either a regular dog or Portuguese. I've got four things I put in to boil the hot dog. And then with that, after it's done boiling, I take half of the load and I barbecue. So the barbecue and the boil are the same price. I just want to give my customers options. And plus, you know, I have a different of uh, Portuguese sausage. And once you've got your dog laying in that steamed bun, top it off with your standard condiments like relish, sauerkraut, onions, mustard, and ketchup. And if you really want to turn it up a notch, try one of Bloss's signature sauces. I've got four homemade sauces I have in here. Uh, I've got wasabi mayo, sriracha mayo, garlic chili, and I have dinanchi, because I make dinanchi myself. So I've got dinanchi mayo. And boy, does that dinanchi mayo pack a punch. He says on a good day, he can sell between 60 to 70 hot dogs. Everyone from military personnel, residents in the area, and even Gov Guam workers on lunch break. So why Jigo? Before I started working at the hospital, I used to drive rigs. So with that in mind, you know, thinking there's a lot of room for trucks to make U-turns and park. And so that's how I took it. Because trucks, you know, up and down, going up and down here, they would get hungry. And so they would drive in, turn around, come back out. And so I had them in mind. Stop on by Papa's Hot Dog Stand in Jigo, located in front of the Jigo Fire Station. The stand is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., and every other Thursday at Ambrose and Harmon. And don't forget to tell Mr. Bloss that In The Mix sent you. When we return, we have Chris Barnett with Tulip Thursday, and we close out with music from Chris Boomer on I-94's Live Local Fridays. You're watching In The Mix. Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss. <laughs> 